for Gary Carter, the third home run of his all-star career, making him one of nine players to have hit that many. And for the National League, once more, a one-run lead. And now, given the job of protecting the 2-1 lead in the top of the third, Fernando Valenzuela, already a three-year veteran of all-star play at the grand old age of 23. His first test, Andre Thornton, pinch hitting for Steve. And Thornton delivers. Fernando's next problem, Lou Whitaker of the Tigers, who has already doubled. Whitaker's second hit puts runners at the corners with nobody out. Pressure time for Valenzuela, who now must face a man in his 18th straight All-Star season, Rod Carew. Again, the pause between the action. A moment to consider all options. Anticipation of a ball game quite possibly now hanging in the balance. Smiles of a summer eve, but not for Andre Thornton, whose only thought was to score that tying run. Sparky said anything hit on the ground, go home. We figured that Rodney was going to make contact. So the ball was hit on the ground, I went home. When I saw him tag the bag, I thought I had a shot at getting in there. I just saw Gary go up, and so I was trying to get inside of him. You know, and it was still a bang-bang play. <laughs> Certainly, I wish I was a little faster, that's all. A little home-style protection, and suddenly it's two out, runner at second, and up to Cal Ripken to try to salvage the inning. Side retired without a run, thanks to a nice pickup by Mike Schmidt. Clutch pitching by Valenzuela, and that turnaround double play that stopped the game from being tied. And as the tight 2-1 game advances to the middle innings, home plate sets the table for a classic baseball matchup of hitter versus pitcher. Bats against arms. And in this case, the arms have it. star renown Carl Hubble Dave Winfield Reggie Jackson and George Brett all potential Hall of Famers all lined up in a row for Fernando it's the inning Retired without a run, thanks to a nice pickup by Mike Schmidt. Clutch pitching by Valenzuela, and that turnaround double play that stopped the game from being tied. And as the tight 2 1 game advances to the middle innings, home plate sets the table for a classic baseball matchup of hitter versus pitcher. Bats against arms. And in this case, the arms have it. Twenty-one strikeouts overall, an all-time all-star high. At the top of the fourth, Fernando Valenzuela might have felt a bit like another screwballer of all-star renown. Carl Hubble, Dave Winfield, Reggie Jackson, and George Brett, all potential Hall of Famers, all lined up in a row for Fernando.
Three up, three down, all by the K. Only four other All-Star pitchers had done that before Valenzuela. But as things turned out, Fernando would only share the spotlight. Top of the fifth, Paul Owens figures the time has come to unleash a truly prodigal weapon. Dwight Gooden, baby-faced ace of the Mets, and at 19, the youngest All-Star ever. Lance Parrish, say hello to young Mr. Gooden. And goodbye, Mr. Gooden. Next to make the acquaintance, Chet Lemon of the Tigers. With a striking resemblance to Mr. Parrish. Finally, Alvin Davis, rookie to rookie, over and out. Six straight Ks between Valenzuela and Good, an all-star record. the record of five with his famed performance in the 1934 game. Still a one-man record, but what a two-man show at Candlestick. It's the 